This industry carries a lot of stress. Whenever you manage livestock, you're responsible for their lives. And I think most mountain ranchers feel like this is a personal attack. Wherever wolves and livestock or ungulates share the landscape, there's gonna be depredation. That's just what wolves do, they're carnivores. And so we knew that depredation conflict would be something that we would have to be ready to, to handle. Mountain ranching is unique and it's hard. There is definitely easier ground to manage cows on, but the only good crop to grow up here is native grasses and we can't harvest them. We need to graze them. I'm Sarah Jane Snowden. I'm co-owner with my husband of Snowden Cattle. We primarily ranch up here in Northwest Colorado, kind of the, actually the, the southern part of the Yampa Valley. This group started calving a little bit earlier and they're getting ready to get some uh, daily feed. We'll feed the cows until really the grass starts coming up. The grass really isn't probably strong enough to sustain the cows until late May, early June. My husband and I, we both grew up in ranching but didn't kind of have the opportunity to expand with our family. So we uh, have jumped in for ourselves. All right. And away we go to look for more babies. I'm Travis Snowden, and right now we're just west of Taponis, Colorado, looking at some of our cows here. Right now we are med calving. We're about a month in, and right up here, we're gonna see some babies. Our primary focus is a cow-calf operation, and so we manage the cow, and we focus on that calf for the first six to seven months of its life. And then at weaning, that baby is sold um, to the next step in the process. With mountain ranching comes many challenges. The climate poses a challenge in itself, and just the stress, you might hear a cow ball or you might hear some commotion or three or four cows bawling about something, you don't know what it is, and your mind just Im immediately goes to, is it a wolf? This is the first time that there's been a ballot initiative to reintroduce any wildlife species, and certainly the, the first time that there's been a ballot initiative to, to reintroduce wolves. And it was very clear. It said that, that we had to develop a plan on how to restore wolves and to take the steps necessary to begin the reintroduction by December 31st, 2023. The CPW team is taking the responsibility to establish a wolf population very seriously. Right? We're doing what we can to restore wolves to protect wolves and to address the concerns and the impacts that people are going to sense and going to feel from, from having wolves on the landscape. And so there's a lot of tools that we use for managing wolves, trying to affect the behavior. And a lot of those are with our, our proactive kind of uh, conflict minimization efforts. So one method to deter the wolves um, is to install fladry. It is cable with flags uh, ever so many feet. The reason we don't have it here is the fact that we are spread out so far. And it would take an absolutely tremendous amount of flattery. And so what we do is just try to have more boots on the ground. We try to be out here as absolutely as much as we possibly can, all day, all night. Running a cattle operation is volatile. Running a livestock operation is volatile. And so, you know, wolves have passed. We know they're going to be here. There's already preventative measures my husband and I have taken. You know, we've already hired an employee. We need to be out in the cows more. There's going to be um, some things that we are personally taking the hit for that I would much rather put that money somewhere else than fighting off a predator that we never had problems with. All right, good mama. You know, we're not just mean ranchers up here opposing wolves at all. We're we're trying to support our livelihood, and this is, this is our life. I hope in the future we can 
kind of get past this point of I'm on this side, I'm on this side. I, I kind of hope we all learn to work together. I mean, the wolves are here, they're, they're introduced. I feel like now we're at the point where we need to learn to manage it. <laughs>